a lot of times when people try to get this up, remember like how they grab. Because here you can pull your foot and you can step over me. That's why I, I typically am having you guys do this. Because if you try to step over me, you feel like you can't. I'm going to pop my knee too. Right. But that's where like getting that C clamp or we get up to this because now you feel how if you try to push me down, you can't really do much. Right. So I can pull this up. I can get cross sleeve. I can force you down out of But now, out of here, if I off balance, right? So like what we talked about last week, like maybe you're looking to boot into me, you're looking to set up into a lot of these other things too. So normally, if you feel me with this, you may be kicking at the hamstring so I can't attack. Like, no, like, like kick me. That way you could like scoot your hip out or everything from there, right? So the other nice thing is, could you get into cross sashi with this? Like Jason Rao does a really good job out of this position of, could you take this and posture up? Well, it's the same thing too. If I know you have that grip, got it? Don't let me move. If I extend my upper body, I get center chest. So once I'm here, if you still try to come up or kick into me, well now I can feed right into that. Now we're back into that, that hip height position. So if you go to clear out of me, you would go that way, right? Mm -hmm. but, but come back, come back. So now, if you go to come out of me, go ahead. That's why I turned turtle. Into... But now, so I'm forcing you again into that knee cut. Like, and I'd say to you, you don't want to play guard this way. Mm -hmm. So which way do you think you would naturally kick me? You're like, oh, I could daily heave a hook you or I could invert. Yeah. So you were going to try to weave this through, get on your side. And daily heave a hook move that way, right? Could you? Can you off balance me that way? Maybe. Well, if you think about it, go to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, because you have to posture that up. But now, could I also get back on the toes here? So I may lose some of that George Samuelson stuff, but if you now get keep going on your right side. So you keep going on your right side. Well, now I'm already in on it. Yeah, I got it. Foot and uh, I mean foot and me. So now, if you go to move, I can't. Which way do you? So I still now I'm sacrificing the knee bar on this side, to a degree on your secondary leg, mm -hmm. the one I have the George Samuels one. So which way could I force you to turn? That one. Yeah. So if I don't get like because I could hip up and in. Yeah. Right. So now what's the other thing I could also do? Back elbow and force Ooh. it. Yeah, yeah. That's so now, great. what's that force you to do? Rotate that way. Rotate. And bye bye. So then, out of that, we get back into the similar spots of where we were before, where if I'm foot to foot, how do I also force this too? Your left knee is bent, mm -hmm. right? So I bend my left knee. Yeah. Your right leg is extended. I straighten mm -hmm. my right leg. So the, the natural rotation with that too. So I can just force however I need this to move. If I don't like any, or keep playing that out, if you try to turn out of this. That way? Go, how would you think of defending? Can't really go anywhere. No. So I could lock it back down to the triangle. I could get my knee to the inside. I could force the heel hook. The other side of it too is if you think of it like another, another way that you could look at it, 50-50, and you get into this like far hip ashi, or far hip, you know, 50-50, or cross body, so that leg would come all the way through. Well, now, if I can force you to still rotate that way, you're not gonna rotate up, you're gonna rotate there. Keep going. I put no pose. Now, I have the ability, I can still lose this leg now, but now oh, as I hip good. in, there's the knee bar that comes out of that. And the grip of this is what? Very inconsequential. Worst case scenario is I lose the George Samuelson one. I can actually now just grab the heel here. And yeah. now, where do you feel that? Uh, I feel it everywhere. Heel yeah. and knee. So now I can go, George Samuelson lock gone. He pulled, like, let's say I even lose this, this one. Good. I'm here. Now I'm in the ability to hit that heel hook. Finish him with the knee Tap. bar be able to move from there, go foot to foot. And again, his right leg's extended. 
I just got my tight. right leg. He's got nowhere to go. Take a little walk, stretch out. You okay? Mm -hmm. So, you can, the, the natural tendency of somebody, if, stand up. It's this one is here, and he brings me back to headquarters. Shuffle me here. Go to headquarters. Boom. If I can sweep my leg out fast enough, like his left leg is long, right? This left leg? No, keep it right where it was. If I take my left leg long, and you see how his elbows are bent? If I take this and I do this, I'm always going to force him down to a pick. Right? And now we're, watch. So watch, keep that. So here, I force you down, and I get down out of that. If you still try to come up, you could get to my back. But are you also giving me the back step right in on it? So that's why, like, you see a lot in... Taylor Heva can still hit you into a back step of those positions. But the nice thing about that setup where we were before is if I caught you, let's just go to this knee cut part. So if I catch you here, a lot of guys don't like this low knee cut. And the nice thing about the George Samuels one is like we keep the heel glued. Well, what if your heel ends up dropping a little bit? So it's not that it has to be, turn this way for a sec. It's not that it has to be like this 100%, because if this still drops here, I'm still gonna get most of the benefit out of it. Mm -hmm. Bring this down. So I get to this, and now I could pass, or I, I drop that weight mm -hmm. back, right? Because we saw the, like I showed you on the other, drop the elbow, and there's the rotational finish. Could I even pop a heel hook from here? Yeah. Yeah. But the nice thing about that is, for any reason, I feel you try to, like, collar tie me and square me up to go headquarters. Sliding that way. Boom. You okay? Yeah. So now this is more of a leg drag. I can still just use this to pass at this point. If I lose the heel, I'm in leg drag, take the back. So I'm not sold on, like if a heel hook shows up, I'll just take the immediate thing. If I'm in leg drag, fine, all of his weights to the right. So as he's bringing me that way, good. Now what do I do? I lay on my right side. Here's my pass. So now I'm just following how his body's moving out of it. So I lose the footlock, but I don't care. Now I just stay with it. Make sense? Yeah.